Hey guys, what is going on? It is Bingsy here and welcome back to a brand new squad builder and it is going to be around Darren Bent. I'm going to put him in the team straight away. I did promise you guys throughout Foot Birthday that there would be a squad builder around Darren Bent. We did pick him up in the last SBC for Foot Birthday that I did and as you can see that's his record. Six games played for me, four goals to assist. I'm pretty sure we got a rage quit so some of his goals haven't counted which, you know, it happens when a rage quit happens, uh, the goals and assists don't count onto your players card stats so uh, that's a shame and one of the games i only played five games one of the games i joined and the guy literally quit within like 30 seconds of the match time so he was just trying to get fitness or something like that which is unfortunate because it just adds an unnecessary game to my record anyway let's get in to the rest of the team in goal we go with Muslera. I used him at the start of the game. Really enjoyed him. I think he's a, I think he's a very solid goalkeeper this year. Acrobatic save style, six foot three, eight to three dive and eight to five reflexes. The rest of his stats are average, but for me, he's a solid goalkeeper, and I've really enjoyed him. Let me know if you guys have used him this year, but for me, he's one of he's one of the better goalkeepers on the game. We'll put the two centre backs in as well. We'll go low to high to start it off, and we do go with Godin, who obviously is the first walkout I ever packed. I only put him into the team just because I. Wanted to give him another try. I haven't really used him as much as I would have liked to. 45 games to the club, two goals scored, and I'm pretty sure one of the goals was in the highlights. And the second centre back we do we do go with is the perfect link, which is Jimenez. So not a lot of pace, but Jimenez is fantastic, guys. 69 pace, which is okay. An anchor card would do him fantastically. 84 defending and 83 physical. Both of the defenders have got medium high work rates as well. And for me, they're a very solid partnership this year. If you guys have used this part partnership let me know what you thought of it for me it's been fantastic i've used it quite a lot this year when i put godin into teams and you know it's a pretty solid defense anyway moving over to the left back the first fullback of the team we go with gulam who was last year i'm pretty sure huge gorilla um, or epson gorilla huge gorilla said that he was one of the better left backs on the game one of his inform cards this year no one really used him i've used him because i needed him for chemistry he's actually a solid left back a shadow card on him I would recommend just to get that pace up, but even without it, he has been fantastic for my team. And then in the right back position, we go with another somewhat slow defender. And as you can see, it is Lucas Piszczek. He's actually very good this year. A lot of people do use him in the Bundesliga teams. Yet again, Shadow or an anchor card would do him fantastically. Really good defending stats, medium, medium work rates, which are amazing for a fullback in my opinion. I prefer medium, medium other than high, high. Um, I prefer it more than high, high, sorry, because I feel like he just sits perfectly behind the the right wing for me in this team and then he drops back when he needs to and he did an, an amazing job in the team anyway we'll move over to the first center mid and probably the worst player in the team in my opinion i only used him because i've got him as untradeable and i was bringing him off at half time for jensen who is just a fantastic player in my opinion really do enjoy him and it is hamshik i've got him as an untradeable in my club 38 games one goal three assists He's not that great of a card. Last year, his 85 rated inform, I think it was, was one of my favorite cards. This year, he's been a very big letdown, in my opinion. Still got great stats. It's just that high medium work rate. He pushes up way too far, and I really don't enjoy him. As a cam, I think he'd be amazing, but as a center mid, he's just not, not my style of player. Anyway, the second center mid, we haven't changed his position. It is going to be this inform Pulisic from last week's team of the week. 24,000 coins paid. He's actually amazing, guys. I prefer to play him as a striker, to be honest with you. It looks like he's still around the same price. He's dropped down maybe to like 20k. He's just a fantastic card. I really would recommend you play him at striker. Medium, medium work rate. So it fits well anywhere on the pitch, in my opinion. But he was fantastic. I'm definitely going to try him again at striker. I think he'd make a fantastic card playing as a striker. But yeah, 90 pace, 77 shooting, 82 passing, 84 dribbling. You can literally play him anywhere. And for me, I think centre mid worked for him amazingly in this team he was like the box to box midfielder to be honest guys he was picking up the ball he was doing a lot of work and he's actually got re relatively okay stamina i thought he was going to be one of the more tired players in the team because he was working his butt off you know he was up and down the field taking the ball from the opponent intercepting passes but he never really went too low in stamina he was actually really like relatively good stamina wise and then the second the second center attacking mid the the only center attacking mid in the team is thomas Ince. now he is one of my favorite players in real life nine games two goals two assists 500 coins obviously to getting that perfect link to bent for a silver card guys He's unreal, I'll be honest. I've got that dead eye cam style on doing his shooting and passing. He was fantastic. I really do enjoy using this card. I know it's probably because I enjoy him in real life. 
But I enjoy him on FIFA as well. And if you guys use Silver Team, I'd recommend you put him in there just because he's a fun player to use. He's got the four-star skills. And for me, he's one of the one of the best silvers that I have used this year. Anyway, moving over to the right wing. We do have a right mid. I should really have position changed him. It is the upgraded Dembele. I'd recommend you get the upgraded one for the pace upgrade. But five-star week four, he is rumored to be getting a skill upgrade to five-star, five-star. So I am going to hang on to him until that happens. If that happens, well, he's a ridiculous card, guys. 800 coins for 92 pace, 85 dribbling, 5 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves, and just relatively okay stats in the other department. Well, he was actually really good. 6 games at 1 goal. I'm pretty sure he got more than 1 goal. I think it might have been in the, in the game that we got a disconnect. And then at left wing, guys, we go with, I'm sure you've guessed it, the 86 rated Inform Insigne. This team isn't a, like... What would I say? A budget team. Like, this isn't a good value for coin team. Obviously, we've got Godin at centre-back. We've got Insigne. We've got Ben. It's not one of them teams which is just, like, I'm, you know, being respectful with my coins and putting the coins where it matters. I just wanted to chuck my best players into a team and play them around Darren Ben. And as you can see, Insigne, 122 games for me. 79 goals, 26 assists. He's just one of the best cards on the game this year. And obviously, Darren Ben, 6 games, 4 goals and 2 assists. I'm probably going to keep this card unless we pack an untradeable one in our 125k pack which I'm, I'm really hoping for guys I really want to pack him and obviously the 125k pack what we'll be getting from the SBCs does still contain a foot birthday card but anyway guys that is the team the bench is exactly how I've had it for all the games I've been going into I didn't bring Jonas on and I didn't really bring Bellerin on I'm not sure if I bought either of them on in any of the games it was mainly just Jensen I think I bought Jonas on for Thomas Ince once and uh, he's just a fantastic card but obviously if you haven't got this it wouldn't matter you and just put any players that you prefer on the bench but anyway guys that is going to be the end of the squad builder part of this video let's get into the highlights and see what this team can do in a game all right guys let's get in to these highlights now one thing i've just realized that whilst editing these up is one of the games has sort of glitched out and uh, it's not letting me put it into sony vegas i put it in and it just crashed the like crashed sony vegas so i've had to sort of re-edit luckily a lot of it was already pre-saved um but yeah i'm not going to be able to add that game in i think it was literally like a 2-1 win for me or something like that but that game's just sort of messed up and i'm not sure how to go about getting it into sony vegas so i've just sort of left it out so if the highlights seem like they've been caught a bit short we are missing one game but yeah guys overall this team was a very enjoyable team to use i did build it just for Darren Bent, guys. Literally just for personal enjoyment, obviously. Me being a Derby fan, using Darren Bent and Thomas Hinton in a team. It was a lot of fun for me, and uh, I, I quite enjoyed it. So, yeah, it's not going to be a team which you're going to take into foot champs, or you're going to go and smash out, like, seven wins in Division 1 and win the title without losing. It's, it's just a fun team. It was more just for overall enjoyment for me. And I actually really did enjoy this team. Obviously, it has got a lot of good players in there. Pulisic, Insigne, Darren Ben, a fantastic card. His work rates do let him down a bit, but as you can see, his finishing is just insane. Um, but overall, it was like a, a few good players and then just some fun players to use. Pulisic, didn't know what to think of him. I put him in there because his card looks fun. He's a very good player. I'm, I'm sure you'll see a lot of people use him in Foot Champions because he's an overpowered card. Muslera, Go uh, Muslera, Godin, and Jimenez. Fantastic pairing, like the fantastic trio there. Really do enjoy it. I'm going to start using that in more of my hybrids that I use because Jimenez is just too good not to use. I, I personally prefer Jimenez to Godin. Um, he's just unreal to be honest with you guys go godin i feel like he need a shadow card on him his pace really does let him down i have got an anchor on him at the moment but i feel if i put a shadow on maybe it'll just put him to that next level that step above what he's already at jimenez i feel like an anchor card he would just be unstoppable one of the better center backs in the la liga santander i really did overall just enjoy the team and have a lot of fun while I was using it if you guys are going to go and use the team as well let me know what you think of it you can replace Thomas Ince as well with a man of the match Will Hughes who I've used before and is a very very solid card he's not very attacking but he's a very solid card and you could obviously switch him with Hamsik I'd recommend and I feel like Hamsik would do a lot better at center attacking mid than he does at center mid but anyway guys we are coming up to the final highlight hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video if you have make sure you drop a like on it if you have any video suggestions please let me know in the comments down below and as always guys make sure you all have an absolutely incredible day thank you so much for watching guys and peace